Good evening boys and girls and welcome to another video. Apologies for the light. For once the sun is shining brightly in England which does make a change. But uh, we have a new toy to play with. Arrived this morning in the post and it is, if you can see it there, the Dreamcast SD card. Plug us into the serial port at the back there and you pop in an SD card. There's a 16 gig sand disk in there at the moment uh, and then you download a loader and you download a boot disk uh, well a, a boot loader I suppose uh, the boot loader is this thing here I'll, um, I'll stick a copy of it on my website and you copy some files over to the uh, SD card don't know what they're for. There's a few JPEGs in there, uh, some uh, file management bits and bobs. Uh, I, d I burnt the image. It was a CDI image. I burnt it with image burn. It did need a file because it was throwing up an error. Let me find what the file is. The file was pfctoc.dll, which will be a table of contents, something or other. Don't know. But without that, image burn won't burn the CDI. But uh, I'll probably save it in ISO and stick it on my website anyway. So what does this wonderful device do? Well, it's pretty obvious, I think. You stick it in the serial port and uh, you can load games from an SD card. As long as they're in ISO format, it's quite important. Um, so let's have a look, shall we? Got the volume turned up a bit. I've just been playing. I've just been playing again. Um, you don't really need to look at me, do you? Well, anyway, this is obviously the Dream Shell. It's called. And it was like I say, it's a CDI image, which it used to be the Pratis Dig uh, Disc Juggler. They're long gone now. I think they're out of business. Not quite sure what happened there. Oh, press Y for uh, something. Dream Shell. So obviously it seems it can load from... Um, it can load programs from, C uh, from CD. It can load programs from a hard drive. And various other things. Oh, LAN. Something about LAN. I think the Dreamcast did have a LAN adapter, didn't it? I'm sure it did. So we'll go over to SD, double click with A button. Uh, we have, what do we have? Well, let's try something that I know works. Oh, there we go. Error. Loading from ISO, this device is not supported. I didn't say ISO, did I? I might have said ISO and I meant SD. We'll load that back in. Um, yeah, I don't remember pressing SD. That's probably why it's going to ISO. Oh, the CD wrong. Anyway, not that it matters. Dream Shell, created by SWAT. And a license from Sega. Okay, load from SD. Perhaps I didn't press that before. It is quite possible I didn't. Why for 60 hertz? Hurts, hurts, baby. Um, this device, I bought it from eBay. Uh, it's taken, I don't know, a week and a half to come. But it's been the Easter holidays. I don't know how much it was. 20-something pounds. Not a lot. I hate burning CDs. That's why I got it. I can't stand burning. It's an absolute pain in the neck, burning CDs. There we go. Loading from SD. I think I pressed CD before. Stupid boy. Y for 60 hertz. Okay. Loading. Attention, this game is freeware. Commercial or non-commercial use of any kind is not permitted. Press left, then right. What? Press left, then right. Press up. This project uses code of the following open source modified SDL. SDL, does that mean we can have it on the Amiga? 
You can get the open source. Okay. In memory of Ar Armin Gessert. Who's that? Oh, no, that is Salvador. Salvador. Those who do not want to imitate anything produce nothing. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. Salvi, old Salvi, I can see what he's saying. Gianna's return team. All right. Inglesi. Start. Continue. I just played this a moment ago, and this is exactly where I got to, level 2. So it's remembered where I was. How good's that? Oh shit. It's not improved my gameplay any, but it's uh, impressive nonetheless. Uh, non nonetheless. Now, as you can see, I'm obviously a bit of a whiz, but. Ah uh, oh, shit. Bit of a whiz, bit of a whiz. Little snudge. Ah! Balls. This is obviously quite a uh, small game. Ooh. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Well, I've all the monsters. Oh, I just, just a little bit I touched there. World 1 was a lot easier, if you don't mind me saying. Not that it is, not that it is uh, Mario-esque in any way. Oh. Look. No point crying, is there? We should try harder. No! I mean, start. I'll start from level one, let's go. Well, I'll be dead in a moment. Uh, yeah, I've never seen this before. Obviously. I remember playing the first one on the C64, was it? It wasn't on the Amiga, was it? C64, I think it was. Oh god, you've got to be so delicate on the controls. How many gems have I got again? Well done with your ample bosom. Thank you. Score 6452. Probably higher than anyone's ever had before. Well, I don't want to play this anymore. Level 3. Okay, we'll power off. And back on again. There's no reset. Could do a reset button on the Dreamcast. I shall make one. Is there a reset? No, there isn't. Dream Shell. Let's try... Um, there is an Amiga emulator on here, which I've just copied over. Not tried it. Don't know how to work it. 
know nothing about it whatsoever. Just why? Why? <laughs> Dream shell. Okay. Don't know what any of these do, apart from that one. SD. SD. So if we say page one of three, right? Okay. If I click on, oh right, I so stupid. Oh. Dream Shell ISO from SD. Okay. Hey. Adventures of Willie Beamish. Never played that before in my life. Well, let's have a single disc. One that I know. Ooh, we nearly had Chess HQ there. I'm trying to think of what run, runs poorly. Ooh, different the crown. Deja Vu 2. I, remember, did I, I think I bought that. Delete. Delete on one disc. Flight of the something really. Ghosts un goblins. Well that's a bit of ghosts un goblins. Uh don't know what any of that means. Let's just run it. Got activity lights. Ooh, rebooting. There's loads of emulators for this thing, from the SNES to the Vectrex to Atari to uh, Amstrad CPC. So I intend to have a fiddle bit with them all. What's happening there? What's happening there? We're stuck on track 80. Ah, so start is. Um, well, let's try a little. Oh, I like that, that's good. Heart of China. Hero Quest. Humans. Mission Impossible. Indiana Jones. International Karate. Jaws. I don't remember playing Jaws on the main. Come on. Let's have a single disc game. Oh, the last ninja. Leisure, leisure suite. Leisure suite, Larry. Lemmings. Lynx, the golf challenge. See, so yeah, I'd quite like that, but most people won't know. Live and let die. What's 80 mean? Jerky scrolling there. Limited, yeah, if you like. So Y, which is uh, the green key, seems to be a start. And we've re 
rebooted. Cool. Very successful then. It's amazing, Amiga emulation, it never or rarely seems to work that well. Start. It could be just a quirk of the game that's trying to bang the hardware and it can't. No. Alright, we'll press start. Reset. Don't know what I press there. Reset, right. Let's um let's pick the game I was gonna play ten minutes ago. Lotus Turbo Challenge. Bit of a raster line goodness there. I knew it was a mistake videoing it the first time I ever played it. That is um normal. Uh, good, uh, what? Easy. Not oh, easy. Medium. Yep. One player, uh, computerized gears. Mm -hmm. Right, go. I'll do it for me. Let's go. Nelson is flying pickets. Finland. Mainly gentle slopes, but rocks lying on edges of the road. There's not just punch out of uh, the uh, grammar there. Rocks lying on, on edges of road. Are ah, they? Yes, are. Ah. Flickeration going on there. Whoa, that bloody immovable road signs. Oh. Try to drive through toaster with the bloody roads. Ooh, oh dear. Ah. Looking good. Well, let's try one more game. We've been playing for 20 minutes and we've played very little. Uh, I don't know anything about the development of this, the SD card for it. I know it's been kicking around for a few years. But I've only just recently bought a Dreamcast again, about a month ago. Purely because I want to play some of my favourite games, which happen to be on the Dreamcast. Um, uh, th whose names I've forgotten instantly now I've said that. A hunter, hunters, head, head hunter. God, blimey. I used to love that. Loads of games. Console, ISO. Right, we'll do one more, and that'll do. Hmm. You control it by cursor. Oh, so we've got F3. Right, okay. So let's try that. That's the Ferrari challenge thing. What's that? That looks like an error to me. What does that mean? 
Loading app ISO loader. Yeah, but do you mean ISO loader? I wonder if I've downloaded the wrong file there. It might be my fault. So I've only got a couple of things on here. I've just set it up now. But, um, like I say, all you need to do is burn an ISO or a CDI. Dot, is it CDI? The Pradis thing. Um, I did it with uh, WinImage, uh, 24 speed. You burn that, you stick an SD card in, make sure it's FAT32. You drag over the folder that, that um, they point you to at the website. Stick some information on the, SD, the, uh, the, CF, the SD card. Um, and then drop a few ISOs in it and away you go. Obviously I haven't got anything on here, I've only just played it. Or I've only just done it. But I'll put a few things on and we'll come back to this in a day or two when I've got some more ISOs on there. Don't know what uh, region changer. What's that say? File manager, DS install. Okay. Anyway, that is the SD loader for the Dreamcast. It looks very good. It looks promising. Obviously, there's a few flaky bits. But Amiga emulation was always going to be a problem. Even on PCs it's a problem. So that'll do for now. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. You'll never know just how much I